we are back we are back at it like a crack addict no i'm just playing but i hope you're having a fantastic day thank you for stopping by we just finished recording the very first part and i was having so much fun that i'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the second area which i believe is called the scorch land but this game is fun i was having a lot of fun playing it and i'm just gonna have to be tired for work tomorrow because uh, i feel like playing some more of this joint but let's go ahead and jump into the joint we got some rituals i don't even know what the heck these joints are we're going to summon them addition to black chaos or something but let's go ahead and see if we need want to upgrade our spells real quick i think i said i was going to pass on these joints we'll keep this shard for something else maybe we'll get like a better spell or something but let's go ahead and just jump into one of these fights and see what happened you have one unspilled yeah 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 i'm good start the encounter anyway yes sir let's get it what the heck we got some some sandworm and some sand phantom all right let's see what are you guys all about this dude about to add 15 block to himself though plated grub we got the desert spirit about to hit us for 12. what y'all got down here block is not removed it's some hell no okay so you a blockity block a blockity block blocker okay and this dude got shade armor gain four block the next time the next time receiving attack increase by one when triggered okay let's see what we got reroll this joint let's go i'm gonna go ahead and do this over here get that power what have i got i'm gonna reroll this three and see if we can maybe get a four I said a four. Alright, these dice don't listen. I don't know what the heck is wrong with them. But we're gonna have to throw this one down. He can go ahead and add poison to you. Uh, you might as well. Get some poison. And then we're good. That desert spear is about to hit us with some damage, though. All right, what 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 the heck is that? What does that mean? Apply to silence. Apply mute to a spell. Okay, I'm guessing that means I can't use that joint. And this dude just increasing his his block, so that joint don't go away. I'm rerolling ones no matter what. He's doing four. We roll this two real quick. We roll that three real quick. Of course, all right. I do kind of need another block. Cause one through four is not working for me. I mean, we got this, but I don't think that's good enough. I mean, that's good. Cause if we get, if we get a one through four, we can put in the aqua fortis and if we get a five or higher we can put it into the poison barrier so that might be an option i have to look out for let's see what we're going to do here do some damage onto you apply that poison and I guess we might as well play poison to you. Cause why not? Did that did that grub just spit on me? Hey, me that what the heck? Can I be played for two turns? So I can't use these dice? When spent in spell, apply two mute to spell can I be played for two turns all right so the the spear is about to get clapped he's about to go back underground where he is where his body actually is let's start focusing on this grub start poisoning this hoe gain one block so oh, if it's like one block at the eat end of each turn I like that In fact, you should probably, I'm just going to put it in here just to see. That would be good if that's the case. 
It, it looks like we're keeping our power. So it looks like we're keeping the barrier too. Okay, I like that. So we can go ahead and put this joint in here. Try to get a four. Ooh, I kind of want to keep this six. I kind of want to get that four so we can get the block. Dang it. All right, well, I'm just going to put it in here for the block anyway. Because we're going to get two. That's going to be three, so it should only be three damage that we're taking. That's what's up. So we should we should try to be putting some cards or some dice into that water vortex so we can get block. And then that's odd. Doing six. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here so we won't take any damage this turn. Hit you with this poison fling. Four. Increase our power. Uh, let's reroll one more time. Of course, that's my luck. I should have just stopped playing this game after the first part. But let's go ahead and increase our barrier some more. Freaking Greb spit on me again. Reroll this joint. Roll that too. There we go. I like that. Hold this ice spear. Oh, dang. He, he blocked that joint. All right. Let's see if he can blo block this poison fling, though. Add that poison onto you. And some more poison. Yeah, grub. Go say hi to the, to the spirit for me. Some gold. Got a toxic vial. Apply six poison. I like that. Um, with that, let's see. We definitely need some more defensive spells. Chill core, gain three block, depleted. Apply three weak to all enemies. I'm with that. I think I might actually equip that. I just don't know what I'll take out. If I use the if I use a shard on it, it goes up to six block. I kind of like that. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I kind of want to take out this Aqua Fortis now. For this one. It's everything else I kind of like. Maybe the next shard I'll go ahead and... And unlock the next slot. Now we can be full. Let's, let's see what's going on with this ritual. Let's see what's going on with this joint. Choose a ritual. Bloodbound skin. Attacks gain 20% lifesteal for one turn. Okay. Flip all dice upside down. That can be nice. And enchant dice with energize. When inserted into a spell, increase the spell's damage and block by four. Ooh. So rituals are spells of ultimate magic it can be used when the energy bar is fully charged. Ooh, okay. You know what, I think I'm gonna go with this Bloodbound skin, seeing as our health situation is kinda, kinda scary. We're gonna go ahead and use this joint. So, all right, so this is what this slots were. We got some rituals that we get to use. So I don't know if it's like three turns, We in three turns we get to use this, or is it three energy? I don't know. We'll find out, though. Jump into this next battle. See what they talking about. Thank you all. Some goblins? Oh, y'all some imps. Alright. I'm pretty sure goblins and imps, they're related some way. And somehow, they're definitely related. Well, let's see. What's this? Imp power. Transfer all power to a random enemy. Okay. So, I guess the ritual in three turns... That will activate. Kill, kill. So, we roll this joint. Nice. So, if I apply 
if I do the shield core, if we get rid of all of our charges, it'll apply weak to to everyone. I don't think we need that much that much block though. We just need one of them joints. Alright. I like the animations too. Like each spell has its own animation. That's what's up. I like that joint. And then let's go ahead and drop one into this water vortex. About to poison. Which one of y'all should I poison? The triplets. I'm gonna go for you. You're in the front. Let's just let's just go for you. And let's go ahead and gain another barrier. Make sure our barrier is high. Just in case these imps decide to combine their powers and do some crazy, crazy one-hit KO move or something. Let's see. He's doing six. Put one in there for the power. One in there for the block. Him with his ice sphere. I'll hold that. We are protected. But Goblin 2 and 3, or Goblin 1 and 3, just went to the gym, did some push ups. Now they're increasing their power. So I don't like that. We roll one of these threes. Okay, I can cast the life steal. Which I should should I do that right now? We're getting two barrier. Let's hit you with that. We got a six. Go ahead and cast that our ritual and then hit him with this ice sphere so we can get some some health back should we kill this one nah let's just do it on here only re only recover two health oh heck nah I, mean, I guess i need oh i guess it's for the turn so if i hit him again i'll i'll increase my health some more okay i about to save that's all we get that's trash uh, yeah, uh, you know what? Let's do that. It looks like we'll lose four. I think we'll lose four damage. Whoa! You out of there. But don't worry, your brothers will soon join you. Oh, it looks like he, the dude, the first golem right here got an attack boost somehow. The heck? Alright, six. Reroll ones. We don't need no ones around here. Are no twos. Put this in there for the defense. Hit you with that. Hit you with that. Say goodbye to your brother. Whoa! You out of there. But he can say hi to his other brother that we clapped earlier, though. They can have like a family reunion. Well, they should probably wait until I clap this one first. Then they can have a family reunion. Once I finish clapping this one. Let's roll these twos. Actually, I'm going to use this two to increase our power. Throw one of these in there to have water vortex. And then... Get that poison going. With the ice sphere. All right, he went back to the gym to increase his health. Let's go ahead and cast our spell, our life steal, and get some health. Whoa! All right. I probably should have used a weaker attack first, so we can at least heal for like one and then finish them off. That probably would have been a better option, but I wasn't thinking. All right, deal six damage two times. That would be good for when we do have our ritual active. We can use that. I'm pretty sure the more damage we do, the more we can heal. Apply three poison. If the target is attacking, apply two weak. I like that. On five, gain two toxic shed. Or two toxic skin. On six, plus two charge. Reroll dice. Uh, I'm about to reroll these options. Gain 
block, reroll a die, roll two dice upon depletion. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna take that. I kind of want to put that in. We could delete that real quick and then get two extra dice. You know, I'm gonna take out Fluctuate right now for this match just to see. Just to see if we really need to rely on that or not. Sanctuary. We get a gift. Oh yeah, we definitely need to heal for sure. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and pay the 25 gold to heal for 25. Cause we balling right now. We got 178. You know, we just got paid, so let's go ahead and do that joint. We've been working at OT too? Oh yeah. And that extra bread. So next fight. Oh, the grub is back. It looks like he bought some type of some type of transformer friend with him. What are he talking about? We got a desert golem. Debuffs two random spells. Broken. Spells cannot be cast until repaired by spinning a dice. Ooh. Why you want to do that to me? Let's go ahead and use this ice sword. Ooh, I like that animation. That's dope. Just to draw the two spells. Or to draw two dice. Alright, let's see. Definitely about to poison. Let's focus on this golem because he's he's freaking me out a little bit. Get some barriers. Do that. Let's add some more barriers. I feel like this golem, this transforming golem, is going to pack a punch. And he just broke my spells. How the heck you break a spell? What kind of crap is that? So I need to. I need to use a. Uh, dice to to break it because you're not attacking hold this poison and I mean might as well use this joint to unlock it can't put that three in anything else anyway except for the ice ward Uh, Mr. Transformer back there is increasing everybody's health. I don't like that. Oh yeah, time like this. I wish I had the re-roll. I'm gonna go ahead and spin some dice in this Ice Ward. Reroll two. Of course what they're the ones. Fuck? Why wouldn't they be? I mean, let's just go ahead and put that in there so we get another barrier. At least go up to 12. I guess we'll break this, I guess. I mean, nothing else I can do. Alright, your move. Don't hurt me too bad. Okay. So, dude just keeps increasing their health? Yeah, we definitely need to take out that golem. Gonna activate our ritual. Activate this joint. For the life steal, give me that. And then I'll go ahead and put some more poison on Big Boy back there. Alright, he's increasing their power. 29? What the heck is wrong with you, Transformer? Why you keep increasing your power? What the heck is wrong with you? Yeah, that that spell that allows us to reroll our dice. Yeah, we need that. We need that. Put that joint in there. Number for one in barrier. Put in that joint. It's still about to hurt though. Oh, he's doing a random action? This transformer really about to reach 
about to transform on me right now? The heck is wrong with you? She with that. She with the poison. Cause why not? What are her spells? Apply six poison. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Hold this poison, Molotov. I haven't been paying attention. I don't know if, like, when he gets poison, does it affect the shield or does it go past the shield? Let me see. Oh, no. It ignores shields. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Do this hit me for 12. That's not a problem. We can go ahead and drop that joint. Water Vortex. And we're fully blocked, so that's good. Now let's start working on this grub. That's good to know that the poison ignores the the armor. That is good to know. I'm trying to wait until I get a six to use that lifesteal. Add that poison. And then... She with that. Alright, your move. And I wonder, does since I if I don't use my ritual this match, will it carry over? Let's find out. Let's see. You about to die to the poison anyway. But let's go ahead and add some more to that joint. That would be nice if the ritual carries over, though. Get some gold, a spell. Man, we need we need some spells. Uh, we need something. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I definitely need to switch up my spells somehow. Uh, we getting clapped. Nine attack, three block. Uh, I kind of like that. But we're going to have to use multiple dice for that joint. Give it to me. I'll take it. Well, let me see. Oh, it doesn't look like it carries over. We're going to have to reset that joint. But that's good to know. But I definitely think we need that fluctuate back. We need that back. I definitely think we need that back. I think I'm going to take out this poison fling. I'm going to keep this one because it applies three poison and it does... Whatever we roll as damage, even though it only gives us a 3 out of 6 chance to apply poison, I think I'm going to take that out. And how would that look? Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it like this for now. If I come across another shard, I probably will add this engulf unless we get something else. But I think this is what I'm going to roll with for right now. For right now. The fluctuate, yeah, just... Just not using that for one match. Nah, I'm good. We need that joint. We need that joint. But let's see. We got an event. We got a shop. Let's go to the shop. I don't think we've been to the shop yet. We can sell spells. I like that. Got some artifacts we can buy. Some potions. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, let's go ahead and sell. Can I sell only one? Or is it as many as I want? Uh, I don't think I'm going to use this Ice Ward. Oh, we can sell as many as we want. Okay, that's what's up. Poison Barrier. Uh, I want to keep that for now. I'll sell the Poison Fling, though. Give me that money. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Split Potion. That might be helpful. And then I think I might pick up one of these joints. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to grab that one, too. Why not? I got the money for it. Hey, we got 14 coins. That's my favorite number. But let's go ahead and proceed. I don't think we have the 
the health to deal with a boss fight right now. Hopefully if we can get to the sanctuary, we have an opp opportunity to heal. I ain't doing an elite fight right now. Can we go backwards? No, we can't. All right. If we were able to go backwards, that would suck because we would have to go straight into the elite battle. And I'm not trying to do that. Let's just take on a normal Barney. What the heck is this? All right, we got one of those creepy looking fairies. Like, I feel like maybe I should try to take out this fairy first since it has less health. But I don't know. I like going after the the bigger targets because I feel like they do more damage. Cause he's hitting me for 16. I don't like that. Oh, got that fluctuate. Roll that joint. Thank you. Uh, let's fluctuate one more time. A three. All right. Put that in there. Uh. I mean, let's just fully block this joint and apply weak. Dang, now we don't need all that block. All right, it's cool though, it's cool. Uh, Yeah, let's go ahead and add some more poison to, to Cosmo back there. In two turns, he should be, he should be clapped anyway. Now we only gotta worry about him. He just sapped me? What did that mean? Until end of turn, was that two? Block from spells? Oh, minus two from blocks. Okay, got you, got you. So we weaken my block. This dude in the front is going to add more sap and weak. But dude in the back is about to get clapped, so I ain't gotta worry about him. Now we can worry about big boy in the front. Jack that necklace. I am going to increase my power. Add some poison to big boy here. Try to reroll. See if we can get an odd. We couldn't get an odd. We got a six, but I'll take it though. Hit him with this ice spear. You remove. See you later, Cosmo. Tell Wanda I said what's up. Alright, now he's in for 16. Ooh, we got that extra dice. Nice. Let's re-roll this joint. Nice. Reroll this joint. Gonna re-roll that joint again. I can rock with that. Him with his chill core. And then I'm gonna put one more in there so he can be weak. And we're fully blocked. I like that. Do a life steal. And add some poison too. Looks like we got two HP for each one of them attacks. I'm with that. What are my potions? Okay, cool. I think it was a good idea to take out that creature in the back first. I guess with the poison, if they have like like between like between like 10 and 20 HP, we can stack the poison and get them out of there quickly. What is that? Vex. When spent in spells, minus one value to all dice. Oh heck nah. That's trash. The power. Should I increase my power some more? Or should I just go full out assault on him? Let's go full out on assault. I was gonna increase my power, but let's go ahead and throw some ice spheres at him. Alright, lord my value of my dice. What the heck is wrong with you? He probably mad because he about to be up out of there. Toasty! Yeah, hold that ice spear. Ice spear right to your dome. 
Alright, got another... We got that Vampire Essence, that's what's up. We've seen that in the shop. Roll two dice, receive one, po one poison. Uh, I mean, that might be kind of a nice trade-off. Roll two dice, gain one block, increase by one for each die, roll this turn. Reroll all other dice. No, let's reroll these joints. Oh, Poison Fling is back. It's haunting me because I sold it. He's like, oh, you thought you could get away from me that easily? Nah, fam. Blizzard. Gain two fury when rolling dice this turn. Huh. Double fury. Increase damage on next attack. We need a six. I'll take that one for now. I will take that for now. I'm going to move this right here because I don't like a gap between my spells. All right. OCD's kicking in. <laughs> but let's go ahead and jump into the next battle. Oh, I filled up that gain 100 block. Do I get an extra spell? How do I activate that joint? I don't know. But let's just go ahead and jump into the next battle, though. All right. We got a whole squad of grubs. But they're rocking different hairstyles, though. Okay. What barber y'all go to? So this one is going to increase my or decrease my block ability. We we seen these before, and this one's going to gain three thorns. I'm guessing if I hit them, we're going to take extra damage. Yeah, we're going to take the damage. Yeah, retaliation. Gotcha. So I really want to get you out of here quickly. I'm not trying to be out here doing damage to myself. And slay the spire. I hate those enemies that have thorns. Add some poison to you. Four. Go ahead and get this joint going. And then I'll go ahead and hit you with this joint. Hit you before you get those thorns. Fully blocked. I'm with that. I'll deal with you two in the middle later. Later. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in chill core. That's ten. Now fully block it. I wonder if I should add more poison. Seven. Now you know what? Let's let's be safe here. Let's just go ahead and put in chill core, weaken him a little bit, and we'll be fully blocked. Those two in the middle are increasing their attack power though. That's getting that's getting crazy. Alright, got that extra dice. Alright, I'm rocking with these. Activate lifesteal here. All right, I need a odd for those poisons. Let's throw on a block first before I do that. And then we go ahead and hit him with this twisted geyser. All right, you gonna be out of there. And there, they hit me for 12. Now they're hitting me for none. A weaken y'all. And we are good. Why? Grub with the spiky hair is out of there. These hoes just spitting on me. Disgusting. I'm gonna throw one of these in the barrier. Need to get that barrier going. Get some poison on you. Hit me for 14. Okay. Go ahead and... So we can do that. Hit me for 14. I got 9. So uh, we'll take 5 damage. I don't know. It's, it's showing that I'm taking 14 damage maybe it's not calculating 
I don't know. 14. Because it's showing that... It's showing that they're doing 14, but I have 9. I should only be taking 5 damage. Why am I taking 14? Because we should only be taking 5 damage. We're going to have the barrier. We're going to have 9. They're attacking for 14. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I guess it only hit me for five. I guess it wasn't calculating. Okay. I would have thought it would have calculated that joint. Reroll this. Reroll that. Hit me for eight. Ugh. I don't like that joint. Put that in there. So we have seven. We'll lose one health. Add more poison onto you. Actually, we're probably going to go ahead and put this in there too. That way we won't lose any health. We get to go. These hoes stop spitting on me. What the heck? They must didn't have coronavirus out there where they live. Uh, let's see. Guess we'll cast the life steal. Let's reroll this four. Okay. Can do that. So you get poison, heat out of there. And I guess we'll just go ahead and throw some blocks. So they're doing 16. We're going to have 11. We'll take 5 damage. Blocked. Partially blocked. Alright, not going to worry about you two. Start poisoning y'all hoes. Right, I was trying to get one to increase my barrier, but we'll throw this one in here to increase the power. Twisted Geyser. Start getting that going. And then I guess we'll go ahead and throw these ice spears at him. There we go. I like that. Get you up out of here. Y'all keep increasing y'all's power. Y'all getting kind of scary. Especially when they block don't go down. Let's go ahead and get you out of there. Get this block. Fully block. We're good to go. Look at us being strategic. Okay, go ahead and cast our ritual. Let's life steal some hoes. Oh, if it's blocked, does it not work? Is that what that is? I don't know. I don't think we got help from that. Unless we did, I wasn't paying attention. Oh yeah, I guess I guess it can't have block. I guess that makes sense. All right, well. Dang, I was trying to keep poisoning him, but can't do that. Hit you with this, then. Oops, I didn't mean to fluctuate. It's cool, though, because we're going to hit and add more poison. And we got one HP back. I'm with that. All right, you're doing 12, huh? All right. Keep that. Alright. Go ahead and throw that joint on you. Oh yeah, you out of there. Hold that ice spear. Hold that icicle. Alright, gain my gold. Let's see what spells we got. Apply two damage and rupture. Gain block. Depleted. Gain power. Two times a block. Ooh. I think I'm gonna take that one. 
In fact, I might use that one instead of this Aqua Fortis. I mean, of course, the range is a little bit, a little bit smaller, but I think I'm gonna still take that one instead. I think that would be good. All right, we definitely need to heal. Yeah, I need a full heal. I don't need 25. I need a full. They should have full heal. Like, I guess they was like, nah, that's too easy. No full heals. All right, all right. But let's see. This is really what I want to go into this battle with. Let's get it. Let's go into this Hydra. All right, what the heck is this? All right, we got the Bulbasaur head first. So it looks like it has its head and then it has its body separate. I gotta clap both. Of course, it's increasing its power, because why not? Apply one pox. Aw, oh, don't tell me it's another one of these infection craps. On reaching three pox, deal 10 damage and remove three stacks of pox. What the heck kind of crap? Regenerating heads. On Hydra head kill, lose 200 health and spawn two random colored heads what the heck all right let's see what we're going to do here I definitely feel like increasing our barrier is is the way to go but I need an odd number either one or three and we got neither one of them joints of course the one time I do want a one I never get that Kind of crap. All right. Well, go ahead and activate this. All right. I'm guessing you should probably just focus on the heads, since if you kill a head, it'll its body will lose two hundred. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, yep. That poison, block that joint, adding power to him. All right. I'm going to reroll this joint. that barrier I think we don't need that joint five I'm with that boy put that in a chill core take one damage oh we got that pox got that pox crap I think I'm going to go ahead and activate this Vampire Essence. Let's do that. Can I combine it with my 20%? So is it two turns or is it just... I think it's two turns. Yeah, it's two turns. All right. Reroll that. Four... <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. The one times I do want a one, I can't get a one, so I can use this water vortex. That's crazy. Go ahead and activate those joints. Poison. And. Let's go ahead and just activate Chill Core. Let's not lose any health. Because I think we get those pox if we don't have any blocks. So we got to be be smart with that joint. I'm going to throw one of these in the water vortex. While I have a chance. Doing 24 damage, huh? Six. 
another six. Let's go ahead and just do this. Alright, what happens when it gets to three pox? Oh, I forgot. I know something good ain't gonna happen. It deals 10 damage. Oh my goodness. Alright. Let's go ahead and put that joint in there. Reroll. <laughs> Reroll. Them joints in there. Yeah, we might want to fully heal here. Our block, I mean. I think we're good. Man, this thing's power getting crazy. What the heck? Life still. We should probably just try to finish him. I think that'll probably be the. Go ahead and clap you. Hello. Spawn Hello. More heads. Oh crap. Okay. What's good with y'all? I'm gonna split this dice into two. Should we do that? Yes. Split this five. Oh, I'm stupid. I thought it was gonna like make another copy. I'm stupid. Not. I thought it was gonna do that, not actually split it. But that's cool though. We can rock with it. At that water vortex. Here you go, this joint. I'm going for the one in the back since you'd be having them pox. Um, we used our ice spears. We used them joints. Alright, add more poison onto that joint. I think that other potion that we have will get rid of our our negative effects. So we can use that if we're going to get hit by the pox. And this one too. We got 10 right there. All right, I got to fully block here. And weaken them. And I guess we'll just use this to add power. Can't do nothing else. Sun dies. Reroll that. Alright. Ten. Should be able to block ten. Let's do this. And that's 10 right there. And more poison onto you. Should we, should we increase our power some more? Uh, should we just do some damage? Let's do some damage. And we are good. We're fully blocked. That was very nice of the Hydra head in the front to give the Hydra head in the back some block. That was really nice of him, or her. I respect that. But dang, I respect that 25 even more, though. Yeah, so let's go ahead and use this. i get rid of my, my pox. This joint. Another one. Some more block. So we'll go up to 22. We'll lose three. I think we can afford to lose three. Uh. You know, let's do some damage on you. Why you ain't got no? Sh why you ain't got no shield? Oh yeah, he's gonna add the pox though. All right. 
We need to figure out how to get more dice. Gonna go ahead and add this. Get our barrier going. There we go. We're still gonna get hit by Pox though, so that's gonna suck. We're gonna add a Pox. We need to go to CVS to see if there's a cure. I got an extra dice, I'm with that. Okay. We're definitely gonna have to use our chill core ability here. Apply weak to him. Do life steal. Hit you with that. Gain three. I'm with that. They ain't getting through these defenses. They need to rethink their game plan. 15, I'm gonna go ahead and add another barrier. Five. Let's reroll this two. All right, I'm with that. Hit you with that. And hit you with that, you out of there. Another head down. Hello? Oh. Hello? Oh, he just grew two more heads. What the heck? Alright, so these are the final heads. Alright, hopefully they ain't got no crazy weird ability. We don't have to worry about them pox no more, though, so that's good. Let's go after you next since you got your power up. Okay, the one in the middle is applying weak. Okay, let him do that. Water vortex. Should probably just go full on defense here. They're doing 28. I get up to 19. Should I risk it and just do some attack? Cause yeah, they're doing they're doing 28. I got 19. So I'll take nine damage. Nah, you know what? Let's just fully heal. Let's be smart. There's gonna be times where we get to attack. There's gonna be times. Great, now the one in the back is increasing his power. They're hitting me for 15. What's that star? Next turn, all dice lose one value? Aw, oh, heck nah. Let's get that barrier up. Okay, so that's 14. They're attacking for 15. I think I'll settle for one damage. I think I can live with that. To attack and do some damage on this front head. Adding block. Alright, dude just placed a curse on me. And they just lowered my value. Freaking hose, man. Dang, 34? Oh heck nah. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to use our shield core here for sure. Nah, oh, it's 28. We're up to. We'll be up to 26, so we'll lose two damage. You know what? I think I'm okay with that. To do some damage, I think I'm okay with that. I should have life sealed. That'd have been good. Yeah, that barrier is coming in clutch. We get free 8 block every turn. Oh, yeah, that's clutch. All right, they're only doing 18 right now. Girl is 4. I'm trying to get an odd number. There we go. So we can use this Twisted Geyser. Yeah. 
shield core. And should I take some damage? Got 14. What is that? 18? Or no, that's 19. We'll be taking five damage. Nah. Let's just be smart. If we if we don't have to use lose health, let's not lose health. Alright. That one in the back needs to go next. Because he's increasing his power too. Get that barrier increased. Two to three. It's six block. Let's do that. Go ahead and do that. And then do that. All right. Still gonna lose a good amount of health. Ooh. Oh, all right. I think we might be out of there. Okay, let's see. Reroll here. Yeah, I think we might be out of there. Right, I think we'll survive one more turn. We do this. Yeah, we'll survive one more turn. I need them to not attack this turn. So I can get this front one up out of here. Oh, that's not good. Maybe this extra dice will help. Nope. Alright, we about to get clapped. There's really nothing I can do here. Can do that. Yeah, we're done. We're clapped. That. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have enough. Yep, we're out of there. I tried, though. Hero Bubble Man is out of there. But that was fun though. It's tough. I'm not gonna lie. I think in the Steam store, one of his tags is called difficult. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty tough. But it was fun though. I definitely enjoyed it. Lap is out there just taking a nap. He'll be back though. He'll be back. Alright, but we unlocked a new character. We unlocked Hazel the Earth Mage. Capable of making rocks and dirt move to help or hurt. Ooh, okay. Then we got unlock the new tome. Tomb of offense. New spells can be unlocked in tomb of offense. Okay. Tomb of protection. Alright, that's what's up. So we got Hazel here. Maybe I'll use her next. Gain four block. Return dice with plus one value. Deal one damage to front enemy. Or does the dice value plus one? Okay. All right. We'll see if we can cook with Hazel next time. But I definitely appreciate you for watching. Be sure to come back for the next part, and I will see you then.